If you are wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt, yes, it's because I'm binge filming videos. And really, aeroplane? Really? Thanks. Hey all, it's Flo, and today I'm just going to be doing a rambly video because... I'm in a talkative mood because I haven't, been, I haven't left the house in seven days, so for seven days I don't really know when I left the house. So I haven't really seen very many people and I haven't really spoken, so I'm just going to ramble to you about gender because that's a thing that is existing at the moment because... Let's fill your feet with something other than COVID because, yeah. Okay. I'm going to talk to you guys about labels and yeah, so I feel like in today's society, we are so desperate to label ourselves. Um, I feel like everybody wants a label. And I know that's really hypocritical and really pot kettle of me, you know, being someone who identifies as non-binary. But that's where I identify as non-binary, that's where I don't go, oh, I'm non-binary and I'm also this and I'm this and I'm this. Oh, and I'm a demi-boy or I'm agender, all that fun stuff. Because, yes, I want to find a label that fits me, but I don't want to put it right down to the T and end up that becoming me because at the end of the day we are people we are not tin cans you know we are not meant to be labeled as things and yes i feel like to a certain degree finding definitions and finding labels and finding diagnoses for people is good because it helps them seek help and it can you know, to, to get to get better to make them feel happier in themselves and to kind of maybe even save a life in some cases but i feel like that's only when it's necessary i only label them when it's necessary because often when people become so obsessed with it it kind of defines them and it becomes them and they think about nothing but that which is why i've started making other content on here because I don't want to be known as the trans YouTuber. That's where I identify as non-binary and not like any other identity under the non-binary bracket, if that makes any sense. Because like I said, yes, I want to find a sense of belonging. Yes, I'm not a girl, but at the same time, I'm not a label, I'm not a word. And yes, that's really woo -woo -woo and liberal in 21st century, but I, it can be very stressful, you know, because again, it's kind of like this, everybody has their life together except me kind of thing, where people feel that everyone else has a label, everyone else has found their peace and everyone else is happy in themselves and I'm not. And you kind of get to the stage where I, I've got to the stage before many times where I kind of feel like so pressured to find a label and so pressured to find an identity that it kind of just stresses me out and it does not do well for my mental health and I feel like stressing about it and trying to find a label as you trying to find a definition or a diagnosis can be very damaging to your mental health it can be very damaging to you and your well-being because you're just flitting through and trying to like put yourself to something and feeling pressured when actually like i said you're not a tin can and i feel like the reason why we are so desperate to find labels why more and more people are seeking help which like i said to a certain degree is good but you'll often find so for example with adhd you'll find that there's a higher number like recently there's a higher number of boys being diagnosed with adhd that don't actually have ADHD because we often forget that boys are rambunctious, boys are energetic, they get into trouble, they do this, they do that, but that can very easily merge with symptoms of ADHD but just because they are rambunctious, just because they do not sit still does not mean that they have ADHD and I feel like it's naive of us to just put a label on a kid and kind of sentence them to a life of that because we often just think about the positives of 
diagnosing someone and we don't think of the discrimination that they may experience because although they're not supposed to employers do discriminate against you if you have a diagnosis and and they don't like the sight of that they will not employ you or they or they may be reluctant to employ you and there's many other social discrimination they ex may experience and it's a life sentence it really is and i feel like the reason why we are so desperate to label ourselves is to kind of take the blame off ourselves you'll find this a lot with um how do i put this nicely No, I'm not going to go there, because I can't find a nice way of putting it. <laughs> it's kind of taking the blame off us, it's saying, well, it's not me, I'm not to blame, I'm not at fault here, it's not what I've done, it's my brain, or it's science, or it's this, or it's that, and it makes us feel better. Now, that's not a bad thing. It's not always a bad thing, but I feel like there's a kind of a very thin line where it gets healthy and you get help and you get better and then there's a bit and then you cross that line and you go into hypochondria and you go into just obsession because the one thing if you know that you have symptoms the one thing you should not do is look it up on google because the one thing you have to know about google is it is a hypochondriac playground and you do not go there so yeah, so I'm going to try not to ramble for too much longer, but my message of kind of this video is don't, don't stress too much, you know, just, just, just be, just be a dog, metaphorically, I will explain, and um, you, you'll often find that dogs just live in the moment that they, you know, they may, so you'll often find this with rescue dogs where they've been abused so much by humans in the past and they'll go forward and they'll be adopted and it's almost like they're forgiven humans because they don't they're not scared of them or they don't treat them kind of they don't show any signs of the trauma that they've experienced if that makes any sense so you'll often find that they kind of live in the moment which i feel like is what everybody needs to do because we will be so much happier because you'll often find that you are okay in the present you only get stressed or sad or anxious or any other negative emotions if you think about the past or if you think about the future. So I feel like just live in the moment, just be, don't stress. Eventually you will find yourself, you will find peace, you will find an identity, but I feel like it will take time. If you don't feel like yourself, that's okay, it will take time. And I'm coming up to seven minutes, so I'm going to stop talking and if you guys have any other points to, put to, to add to this debate, then please put them in the comments below. I do love talking about these kind of videos, or about these kind of topics, sorry. Um, and if you're wondering why... Yeah, I shall see you next Saturday. Um, I hope you guys are safe, and yeah, I'll see you next Saturday. Bye guys.